16 consecutive strategy of the month videos and we have never done a silver strategy. So here's a good systematic trading strategy for the silver market that we're going to turn into a great systematic trading strategy for the silver market. So a great silver strategy, let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research and you know the drill. Every month we share with you real, fully coded, systematic trading strategies across all the major agriculture, energy and metals, future commodity markets. And this month we are tackling the silver market. We are going to start by looking at the full code for this systematic trading strategy for the silver market, look at some profit statistics, and then we'll make some small tweaks to turn this good systematic trading strategy into a great systematic trading strategy. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. Let's look at the full system code. All right, so this is the trade station trading platform. We're looking at a chart of silver daily bars. And if we look at a quick strategy report, just to get you interested, here's our nice upward sloping equity curve for this strategy. This strategy is made pretty consistent profits over the past 12 full years. And if we jump into our easy language editor, there is the full system code. This is an incredibly simple systematic trading strategy. What the strategy says is if the volume is below the average volume of the past 10 bars, in this case past 10 days, because we're looking at daily bars, then begin to basically mean reversion trade. So if we're at the close close is the lowest close of the past 40 bars, then buy next bar at market, so buy lows. And if the close is the highest close of the past 40 bars, then sell short next bar at market. So sell short higher closes. Again, mean reversion trading with a simple volume filter. And if we jump back into a trade station chart, we can see how this strategy works. Again, it's a mean reversion strategy. So the strategy is buying low, selling short, higher highs, buying low, selling short, higher highs. This strategy is effectively betting that silver will remain in a sideways trading channel. And the strategies worked pretty well. If we look at that performance report again, we see a nice upward sloping equity curve. The strategy's done pretty well over the past 12 years. Net profit of $277,000, including the realistic cost of slippage and commissions. But there's one number here that stands out to us. And that is if we go all the way down here to a drawdown peak to valley, we see a big drawdown of about $82,000. So along the way, even though this strategy is a nice upward sloping equity curve, there are periods where the strategy has some very significant drawdowns. So this very simple systematic trading system for the silver market has that nice upward sloping equity curve, but some pretty significant drawdowns along the way. Now, part of the reason for that is silver is a big contract. Every contract of silver buys you 5,000 ounces and an ounce is worth about $21. So every silver contract that you're buying or selling has a notional value of about $110,000, making it the eighth largest commodity contract across all the major agriculture and energy and metals markets. It's a big contract. And when you build a systematic trading system like the one we've shown that's always long or always short silver futures, you're going to capture a lot of the volatility of the silver market that's volatility on an already very large notional contract. So there's two solutions here. The first solution is we can trade a smaller contract. We could trade something like a silver mini contract that has a fraction of the size. The other solution is that we can make this strategy just a little more complicated. We can add some exits. We can add a few filters to weed out some not so profitable trading entries. Basically, we can take this mean reversion strategy, this simple three lines of code and add a few tweaks so that that max drawdown is a little bit more tolerable. So there it is. There is the 
tweaked version of our mean reversion strategy for the silver market, we can see that the core foundation of this strategy is still there. There's our volume filter. There's our if the close is the lowest close, then buy next bar at market entry. If the close is the highest close, then sell short next bar entry. We've then added a few filters before both of the entries. We've also added a stop loss and finally a bars sense entry exit. And if we jump into a chart on silver daily bars, we can see that this strategy is now generating a lot more trades and there's periods where the strategy is not in the market thanks to the filters that we've added and those exits. If we look at a strategy performance report, nice upward sloping equity curve. And here we go. Here's our moment of truth. Max drawdown trade close to close 29,000 and max drawdown peak to valley 37,000. So about half of the drawdown that we were looking at before for such a big contract that's worth about 110,000, a $37,000 drawdown is much more tolerable having made a net profit of about $388,000 over the past 12 years. Again, nice upward sloping equity curve, including the realistic costs of slippage and commissions. So there we go. We've taken a good, simple, easy to explain three lines of code systematic trading strategy for the silver market. And we've added a few tweaks, a few filters, a few different exits to make that max drawdown a lot more tolerable and make this a much more realistic trading system. So do you like this trading strategy? Is there anything you do to improve this strategy? Have you ever traded a silver mini contract before? Let me know in the comments below. And we are nearing almost 15,000 subscribers on this channel. So thank you to all of you for your likes, your comments, your positive feedback. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you for next month's strategy of the month. Good luck trading silver futures and we'll see you soon.